Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Happy Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day. Honestly, I love any excuse to celebrate something fun, high vibe, and happy. So happy Valentine's Day to you. I hope something today inspires you to come into deeper connection with self, self-love, doing something special for yourself today. Do something special for you and then also for someone in some way. And maybe it's just holding a door open for somebody. Maybe it's picking up something if someone dropped it and giving it to them. Maybe it's uh, doing the pay it forward thing where you buy someone a drink at Starbucks or something before they order. Uh, or maybe something really special with you and your partner. Maybe whatever it is for you. I could come up with all these ideas. Whatever it is for you, I hope you feel the extra love energy that is in the air today, no matter what, it is there and we can take that in and swim in that. So I hope you're feeling that today. That's how I'm starting today. Anyways, moving on. Uh, happy Tuesday. How are you all doing? I'm excited to dive into the cards here and see what Spirit has to share on this day. So let's see. I'm using the Awakening Avalon Oracle deck here. And let's see what Spirit wants to share for Valentine's for this day of extra intent on love, self-love. All right, feeling that's about it. Okay. Oh, now isn't that lovely? That makes so much sense. Okay. <laughs> I, okay, as I was pulling the cards, Spirit was saying, you know you all have a predisposition to love. So I was like, okay, yeah, we'll see if that comes through the cards. And they said, no, really, if everyone could recognize how we are created as human beings with a predisposition to love and, and uh, like a plan within our human structure to love and how that can go in so many ways beyond Eros, the traditional romantic love. And I was like, okay, so how do we do that? This is all what I'm thinking. And what came out is beautiful. So the first card we have is write it out. And so Spirit is really encouraging, again, this theme of automatic writing, inspired writing. Get your thoughts out on paper. Connect in with Spirit on paper and see what comes. Because when we read back what we get, sometimes we gain some of the most beautiful insights we would have missed if we didn't take the time to write it. So there's a value today to writing it out. Write out your thoughts, your questions, your expressions, whatever it may be, to the universe, but also to Gaia. And this is what really made me smile. Have a conversation today with Mother Earth, this beautiful, divine, motherly, life-giving energy of Earth today. There is a heightened frequency from Gaia for love. And this is where spirit was talking about this predisposition to love really comes in at the roots of our beings. It's, they're saying it's within the structure of our being and it moves through the elements of all things. So the elements that make up our physical bodies come from the elements of Gaia and those elements have a predisposition to love. So dive into the depths of that today. See where that leads you. There's something really, really neat in that. As well, as we connect deep into Gaia, we're also being invited to connect in through the crown chakra to the higher realms to receive inspiration today. So what this tells me with this heightened energy of love in the air today, when we ground our energy and tether that into earth in a really beautiful way, and also connect up into the cosmic energies through our crown chakra, opening that up, we have an ability to take in so much of this collective love-based energy. And you may find it inspires you to be more loving to self. You may find it inspires you to feel this deep love connection with the universe, like a connection of awe and wonder for being incarnate at this time. You may find it deepens your connection with your spirit guides in which you feel loved and supported. But because we have this Gaia card here too, it may really reinforce your physical connections on earth at this time. When you open up to that frequency, you make space to receive that frequency also. And so you may find certain people reach out to you today or you reach out to somebody and you reconnect or you deepen your bond in a conversation or you send the text at the perfect time that someone needed to hear that they matter. 
and it shifted everything for them. There's something in our communication today, again in written form, but I'm also going to say text, in how we can deepen our connection to all things and feel that greater kind of love, even that agape love, that God type love, that rapture love, which is again that awe and wonder, and, and the Eros love too. So today really is a day to take all that energy and amplify those intimate connections you have too. So all of the cards are at play in terms of love today. I love how that is supported. <laughs> Funny. Um, and hold on, there's one more thing here. Okay, one more card. They're saying pull one more card. Okay, love it. One other thing to consider is if you're feeling if you're feeling blocked to this energy today, consider cleansing your energy first and then trying again. So smudge your space, smudge your energy. And you know, even if you don't feel blocked, smudging your energy, like this card says, time to smudge, that may just clear up and lighten it so that you have more ease and grace in being in that energy and more receptive to those that are giving you that energy. Huge energetic day today, everyone, huge. So let's make the most of it. Again, when you smudge, you can do that with Palo Santo, with sage in the traditional way, going around the four corners of your room or around your body. You can also though use um, your own white light from your heart space. You can use incense, you can use water as a cleansing agent, you can use essential oils. Anything that you deem is the right frequency for you. Even standing in sunlight, if you're somewhere where it's sunny and standing in sunlight, opening your windows and your blinds and letting sunlight move through your home, that's cleansing too. So consider where you can smudge, clear your energy so that you are open, receptive, and vibing in the highest way possible to connect, communicate with guide, source, universe, people, loved ones, all of it today. Today's a beautiful day, I just gotta say. So with that, I will leave it all and uh, happy Valentine's Day again, and I will see you all tomorrow.